Hey guys, my name is Jason with S&J Forest Products, and I'm pretty excited today because I have a customer who's going to take some of this fur and hemlock. I'm going to cut it up for trim and some headers for him. So I'm going to get this uh, bucked up into the sizes and lengths he needs, and then we'll get it on the trailer up to Fred's, and we'll cut it into some nice trim and beams. Well, that's quite a load there. I got a bunch of cedar on the bottom, which I normally cut. Then I've got these hemlocks on top. This one here is a 24 footer, which I probably shouldn't even be hauling. I'll get some flagging off here because it's a little over length, but I got to cut a 24 foot beam for one of these guys. And then I got some more hemlock and stuff on top. So it's a pretty full load. We'll see if this truck can make it back up to Fred's place and get this stuff cut up. I got my trailer all loaded up here and since I shot that last video it's been a couple days and I've got a couple more orders I got to take up to Fred's so we've got just a whole mishmash of stuff I got some cedar here got some hemlock I got some fur so we're gonna cut all kinds of stuff today good morning <laughs> you got the mill all warmed up huh it might be a good morning it might not well, we'll have to look at the logs I brought. Get your professional opinions. There's a few I'm worried about. Me too. From here, huh? I can see them. That's a long way over there. You're already sizing them up? It's a long log. It is a long log. They're not easy to maneuver. That's That one we're going to cut in half. That was going to be Michael's beam. But we got rid of him. We got rid of Mike. In a different way. A lot of stuff to cut today. What sizes do we want? Oh, every every board's different. <laughs> Let's go look at our logs. So what do you think? They're dirty? <laughs> They're not that dirty. That one's dirty. Clean logs. That read, one. read the manual. That... It says only cut clean logs. <laughs> it's almost illegal to cut dirty logs. That but that I mean I only got one really dirty one on this side they're pretty clean right that one's dirty i'll give you that that's that's dirty that's a nasty could log be firewood could be firewood unfortunately it has to be a four by six beam i think people want me to go buy the car wash and pressure wash them before i bring them to you yeah well you're getting good advice <laughs> your viewers are correct <laughs> listen a lot of them don't know why you put up with me Well, that's what we do in Whatcom County. <laughs> 
put up with dirty logs. And hillbillies. <laughs> and hillbillies. And I've, I'm, I'm both. Hillbilly with dirty logs. What do you think of this fur log here? What's, what's all this stuff on the side of it here? Oh, maybe I put it all on the bottom. What's all, what's all this white stuff here? I got a bunch of white stuff out of the side of the log. Is that a problem? No, those are highly sought after. They're <laughs> shiitake logs. Shiitake logs, huh? This is the start of, of uh, dinner. <laughs> is it going to make good enough wood for us? Don't tell anybody. Okay. Well, I mean, looking at the end here, the, the sap wood's pretty much gone on it, but I think the heart... The heartwood of that fur is still okay. We might have to pray for that one. <laughs> well, I'll donate it to the firewood fund if if it's not not any good. But the rest of these are okay, huh? Pretty pretty clean. We'll cut this one in half. Yeah, we'll cut that one down to 12, two 12 footers. Yeah, we can do that one out of that. That's a 24. Looks like it has a problem right there in the center. It's got a couple problems. It got what what um what do you call those ram ramicorn or spike spike knots or spike knots. Yeah, there's this, a couple this of This is weird though. Yeah, there's a couple there, the whole log kind of takes a little twist here in the middle. Let's see if I can I don't know if you can see it on the camera here but right in here there's a little funky funky spot. But it's all all the way up there's a twist. There's a weird twist in it. I don't think you could sell that to the mill. Oh, they deduct you huge for that. They would just, you'd have to pay them money to take it. <laughs> pay them money. They wouldn't even take it for free. Joke's on them though. We're going to get some good wood out of it, huh? Uh, we're not laughing yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, well, I guess we should go over our list here and figure out what we got to cut. Yeah. We got to cut a bunch of weird stuff bunch of weird stuff today. Right here's our list. You want to see? I'm scared to. A lot of pieces there. What do you think of that? I think there's not enough of each one. <laughs> one, 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 three. Yeah, a lot of different pieces there. Two. Multiple species. <laughs> there's a whole, there's a whole, uh, whole variety of stuff there for us to cut. And look, they're all different lengths too. So they're not all 12 footers. There's eights and tens and 12s and a 20 and a couple 16s. And this will be fun. This is a Sawyer's nightmare. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> it is a nightmare, isn't it? You got a lot of math to do today. <laughs> what do you want to start with first? Oh, shovel some sawdust. Oh, shovel some sawdust. What's this new toy here you got? What's this loader about? Is this yours? Neighbors. It's the neighbors. Are you supposed to be working on it or supposed to be borrowing it? I worked on it. Oh, you worked on it. I made that mount there. Whoa, you made that mount. Hey, that's pretty slick. Yeah. Maintenance. You just got to keep the parts that move dug out, huh? Someday I have to clean it all out. Someday you got to clean it all out. One day. Not today, though. Off to the mill. We gotta pray for this log, he says. Four and a half by four and a half. Or one six by six? Here. Uh, 
don't use that. You don't use that? <laughs> well, you don't like my suit. <laughs> what do you mean you don't use that? All right, let's see what you bring over. Was that a man's tape measure? Man's tape measure. A 25 footer, huh? Yeah. You don't like my little, my little dainty one? <laughs> Well, yeah, you're going to lose two inches on the rod anyway. What is it? Oh, yeah. You want to shoot for a 6 by? Yeah. See what happens? How long is this? 16. Well, you only want a 10. Yeah, well. I don't have anything else to do with it. Anything else cut one by out of it, I guess, huh? Full six inch? Full six. Yeah, two dimension. Well, here's most of our beams that we've cut. A lot of the stuff on top is hemlock. There's a few pieces of fur down below. But these are our beams we got. Now we've got a whole bunch of one by 
we've got an edge into trim. One by three and a half is what he wants. So we'll go over to the edging saw and we'll rip those down to one by three and a half. Here's our stack of one by here. This is all the hemlock, the fur's over here. We're gonna stay with this hemlock and we're gonna rip it down into one by three and a halfs. I need 28 pieces and hopefully we have enough here to make, make that for the customer. Here's our edging saw. For those of you who have watched the channel before, you've seen this, I've talked about this. It's kind of like a big table saw. There's a fence here. There's rollers on the top and power feed below. And there's the blade you can see right down there, I think. And so Fred will take the board, he'll run it through and get a nice clean straight edge. I'll pass it back to him on this side and he'll run it up against this fence to get our three and a half inch wide. And then I'll make a stack over here and all the junk I'll pile one side or the other. But it's a pretty slick little machine. What year is this? 1959. 1959. It's probably the cleanest I've ever seen it. It's not in use. That's it's the, clean. This is the secret sauce. What happens here? Oil. Where does the oil go? Onto that chain. Aha. Uh -huh. What kind of oil is it? Motor oil. Just motor oil. Just keeps it all lubed up, huh? Chain drags on a bed. Here's the oilers. You can look at the oilers. Oh, there's your oilers, yeah. Well, let me get this big band saw. What, what, is this, what do these go to? The big saw. What big saw? Oh, the big, big saw on the back. There's your preventative maintenance there, huh? Can't be without oil. Oh, there they are. Now you can see them. Here's down below. You can see the blade there. This thing fills up with sawdust every once in a while, so we got to clean that out. But It's run on three-phase power. Fred doesn't have three-phase here, so he runs a phase converter. But it is a nice little machine. How big is your phase converter? 20. 20 horsepower. There it is right there. And what size motor is on this edging saw? 15. 15, wow. It's a big sucker. There's the phase converter. loaded up here all right gently gently nice and gentle oh boy there we go that'll get us home well, there we go. Beverly Hillbilly's going down the road here. 
I've got my beams underneath. I've got my one inch tree stakes that I've shown you guys on other videos where I stake up my trees. And I've got some logs that we didn't get to underneath. So had a good day, got a lot cut, but I need to do a little bit more to finish off this order, but I'll do that on another video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.